Hello, Army of Light. Shauna L. Francis here. Today is January 21st, 2023. I had a really um, tough conversation with Queen Elizabeth tonight. I mean, just fresh off the heels of my channeling session with her, maybe just 45 minutes ago. Um, we actually had a pretty rough start to it. We had 30 mile an hour winds today and it was so loud and so noisy and distracting. I got into uh, the meditation with her, the channeling with her earlier this afternoon. <clears throat> and then I had to stop, um, wait for the wind to die down. And then I picked it back up late tonight, pretty much. Um, and it took us quite a bit of time to get through. We've got about um, 2,300 words here. So quite a bit uh, to go through, but this is a tough one team. And we knew that we knew that it would be. We knew this would be really hard. So we're getting into this. Um, just also very quickly, tomorrow driving up the coast to see the whales. I have um, two guests with me who are staying here at the Casitas. So it'll be the three of us will go up, and I'll be pretty busy. It'll be two nights, three days. I really don't expect to be making a video over the next few days, but I'll try to post a couple of pictures if I've got good Wi-Fi. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and just get into what happened tonight and uh, we'll just we'll go through all this together. All right, so went down the elevator, got off at the pagoda and Queen Elizabeth shows up again as her um, kind of most recent looking self, white hair, elderly in her blue dress and her blue hat. Um, I said, hello, Queen Elizabeth. It's great to see you. I'm so glad that we can speak like this. I said, how are you? And she said, I'm doing well, Shauna. There's just so much to do, as you know, so much to talk about, so much to explain. It feels like a monumental task, but I'm feeling very confident that you and I are up for this task. <laughs> Here, I'm just talking about taking the next three days off. <laughs> I mean, this, this whale stuff's bucket list, so I'm gonna do it. And uh, so we'll get back to it as soon as we can. I said, I hope you're right, Queen Elizabeth. I hope you're right. Um, and I'm like, I'm having a bit of a hard time concentrating and hearing you clearly. And um, I'm like, if you could amplify, and I kind of said an affirmation or stated an intention to hear her as clear as possible. And it did get a little bit better. Um, and I said, okay, this is better. Go ahead and start whenever you're ready. Thank you, Shauna, she said. We will go back again toward the beginning, at least to the beginning of my time as Queen Elizabeth. The year was 1956. The world was in quite an optimistic state, relatively speaking. And then I took another break because the wind was just howling. And I, I actually moved from downstairs to upstairs to see if the wind would be not quite so noisy and distracting at that point. And I um, came back in and I said, I'm sorry, Queen Elizabeth, back to what you were saying, 1956, and the world was feeling quite optimistic. She's like, yes, Shauna, that's correct. No major wars were happening at the time a feeling of possibilities, young families, lots of work. Many people had the sense that they were building their lives into something greater, that there was real opportunity here to flourish and be abundant and to have everything that one may need in order to be happy and be thriving. I was 30 years old at the time and even I was caught up in this exuberance I was new to the throne and I knew that I had my work cut out for me. I also remember at that time, something just felt very off. And while the world was in a good place and I seemingly had everyone that one may desire, my beautiful family, my husband, as the reigning queen of England, I often became sick to my stomach and it would be difficult for me to eat. All right, and I'm just like, okay, where is this going? 
I'm like, I, I can't do this right now with this wind. We're going to have to postpone this till later, I said to her. So this is when I took my break. Um, so I came back to it later tonight and sat back down again with her pretty late here. And uh, we continued. I said, thank you so much for your patience and flexibility. Please continue. Thank you, Shauna. Welcome back. Um, Back to what I was saying, just generally feeling ill at ease. Why was this the case? As I had mentioned previously in this role with what I was doing on a day-to-day -day basis, there really was no time for self-reflection or introspection. Every minute of every day, spoken for and prearranged. The days turned into weeks, the weeks turned into months, and of course, eventually, years would fl flow by. There didn't seem to be a way for me to gauge the passing of time. It all became such a blur. However, eventually, I did finally take the time to see the royal family doctor. As I took my time to explain to him the symptoms I was, had been experiencing, he gave me some peculiar advice. My dear Queen Elizabeth, he said, take two of these tonight and call me in the morning. And with that, she said, he handed me two capsules. I was a little trepidatious ab about ingesting these capsules. However, I did not ask any questions and he didn't volunteer any further information. So that's exactly what I did. Later that evening, not too soon before bed, I swallowed, swallowed those pills down with a glass of water. I must say, she said, wow. The relief was almost instantaneous. It seemed like a miracle. I was actually giddy after feeling my symptoms go away after just one night. Even my husband, who never paid too much attention to me or my emotional state, noticed right away the difference in me. And he too was feeling some relief inside of himself with this news. I felt amazing. I felt like a new woman. My head cleared up, my stomach quit hurting. I felt like I could get more oxygen into my lungs. Generally, it was quite energizing. I called the doctor as instructed in the morning, she said, and I told him the good news. This is a miracle, I said. I feel like a different person. What is it that you had me take last night? Oh, just some herbs, Queen Elizabeth. Nothing you should worry about. This is all perfectly harmless. It is an ancient formula and the ingredients are a well-kept secret. Just know that this is safe for you to take as often as you'd like. There's plenty more where that came from. So you don't ever need to worry about running out. The next day, the doctor delivered 30 such capsules to me and I kept them on hand wherever I went. Soon, within a couple of weeks, I was taking one or two of these pills daily. It had become quite a habit. I called the doctor once more. Dear doctor, I'm only down to a handful of these pills. Would you be able to bring me some more? And are you sure that this is safe? I feel like I'm growing dependent on them. But I'll say they've made such a big difference for me. I feel so much better, she told the doctor. And once again, the doctor assured me that these were perfectly safe with no side effects, no harmful symptoms, safe to take every day. From time to time in those early years, I would accidentally run out of the capsules and the pain of withdrawal was excruciating. I had learned to always keep a large supply handy, always at my side. These pills are what allowed me to maintain such a hectic and full schedule for most of my reign as queen. As long as I was taking at least one of those pill pills each day, 
I had the stamina and the energy to do anything that I wanted on very little sleep. And it was true what the doctor said, very little side effects. Besides growing a dependence on them, I truly did not feel or notice any negative side effects from taking these pills. It just became a part of my life. Yeah. And I took some time here again to take a nice deep breath and um, get my bearings because I had a feeling where this was going. And I prayed to be a clear and concise channel. I prayed to, prayed to be 100% uh, accurate with this. <clears throat> Thank you, Shauna. She said the negative reptilian agenda requires complete and full allegiance to the cause and objectives that drive the agenda forward. If you are part of that agenda, you do not ask questions. And at a certain point, you don't even want to ask questions. There is very little independent thinking going on. And as I described yesterday, this kind of life gets easier if you just surrender and not question. And then she continued here again, you'll see, you'll also see as we go along here that succumbing to these dark forces may feel like a choice, but it is not. The mind manipulation makes it such that whatever shred of free will you've been able to hang on to gets lost and becomes nearly inaccessible. So as I continued day in and day out, to adjust to these pills as my body became more and more dependent on them. This too had become a master lever in helping to control me and manipulate me. I would not have been able to maintain my grueling and packed schedule as queen without the use of these pills. And this dependency helped keep me compliant with the regime's wishes. Because I knew, she continued, that at any time this could be taken away from me. I had spoken to my husband only one time about these pills. A few months after taking them for the first time, I asked him, what could be in these two tiny pills that could make me feel so very good and so energized? What do you suppose it is? And he looked at me and he said, if you're feeling great, you're looking great and you're able to do everything you want to do, then there's no need to question it, is there? And with that, he gave me a curt smile, the queen said. Questioning anything was frowned upon and that of course is an understatement. She really took her time with this. We had long pauses in between each sentence as we led up to this. This went on for years and years and years, she said. It was not until much, much later that I'd come to know the key ingredient in those pills that were given to me by the Royal Family Doctor in 1956. This is indeed adrenochrome. This substance, she said, is a critical component in the quality of life for those within the reptilian bloodline. Like any powerful drug, it grips you and it becomes you, and life can be very painful without it. Adrenochrome in those pills is part of the luge or the fear energy that was explained earlier by the Galactic Federation of Light. This luge is a critical factor in helping the negative reptilians maintain their vitality, their strength, and their power. And here on Earth, using humanity in the ways that they do, they discovered the ultimate way 
to capture the luge through the adrenaline that courses through a person's blood and body when in a fear state. This is a highly concentrated and pure form of luge. It is highly coveted by the negative reptilians. And she continued here, Shauna, I know that you did not want to believe this to be true. For many here on the planet, this will be so despicable and so horrifying to know that this form of fear energy is being consumed by the negative reptilians even today. And it's hard for me to talk about it as well. There is evidence of the use of this substance and it will come to light just as all of this information is coming to light now. She said here, I am sorry, Shauna, for the heartbreak that this will cause you and many others. It is an absolute travesty and it will be ending. Then she wrapped it up. She said, Shauna, I feel like this is plenty for today. Thank you. And to all who are watching and listening for your time and effort and attention and for your willingness to hear what I have to say. Obviously, there is more to come. And that's where we wrap this up. Yeah. Adrenochrome. I really, really didn't want this to be true. I really didn't want it to be true. Um, obviously, this has been out there in the public domain for a while. Um, I want to do a little bit more research, too, on it. Um, outside of, like, the conspiracy theory part of it, but just <laughs> conspiracy theory. Here we go. Um, <clears throat> besides, you know, just understanding more of the, the scientific aspect of it. Um, highly addictive withdrawal symptoms, pill form. So these are some new aspects to to this whole equation that I didn't that I wasn't that I hadn't heard of before. Um, I'm sorry, team, if you are feeling any pain here, I'm certainly feeling some heartbreak, as the queen mentioned. This is really hard. And, you know, Melchizedek has at, has said, too, that I'm still mending. My heart is still mending from uh, everything that's gone on with me with the negative reptilians. And this is definitely it's just getting me really deep in my heart space right now. All right. Um, it's time for this to come to the surface. We've got to know what's been going on. This cannot be hidden from us. This cannot continue. We have to bring this out to the light so that it can be transmuted, transformed, released, and healed so that we can raise our vibration, so that we can join Mother Earth and her ascension to the fifth dimension. Um, this this has to stop and, and we need to be able to see the enemy here so we know what we're dealing with and this is this is part of it. All right guys, well I'm gonna go. Um, I wish I had more prophetic stuff to say, just um, I'm having a hard time with it myself right now. Thank you everybody for again for subscribing, for your comp your beautiful comments, for all your love and support for me for your love and support of each other and for your love and support of the queen, even though you're, you may not be sure or, you know, you're still in here hanging out and listening. So thank you for that. We have a long ways to go, guys. All right, team. I love you guys. I'll see you in a few days.